Hi guys, welcome to sixth grade, chapter two, lesson seven. We're gonna go ahead and get started with number two. Now, for our purposes, we are not going to estimate. We are going to do the math. Okay. So when we are dividing fractions, we keep, we change the sign, and then we flip. Okay. So I keep the one half, I change the divide to multiply, and then I flip the one over four to four over one. Okay. Now I can go through and I can say that two goes into four two times. So two goes into two once, two goes into four twice. Now, when I multiply straight across, I get one times two is two, one times one is one. So my answer is going to be two because two over one is equal to two. Okay, let's try it again. Okay, so I'm going to keep, I'm going to change, I'm going to flip. Okay, now nothing goes into five evenly, four or three, neither one goes into five evenly. Four and two, two goes into two once and two goes into four twice. So now I still can't do anything with the five and that's a one. So that's not gonna do me any good. So now I'm just gonna multiply straight across, okay? I get six over five, okay? Well, simplest form means that I have to get it to where the top number is smaller than the bottom number. So I have to go, how many times does five go into six? Well, it goes in one time. I would have one left over, and then I keep my denominator, okay? So I want for you guys to go ahead and do four through 12 exactly the same way, okay? It should be pretty easy for you guys at this point, okay? We are gonna go down to number 13, okay? And it says Joy ate a quarter of a pizza. If she divides the rest of the pizza into three, I'm sorry, into equal, bleh, Joy ate one quarter of a pizza. If she divides the rest of the pizza into pieces equal to one eighth pizza for her family, how many pieces will her family get? Okay, so if she ate one quarter, then there's three quarters left. Okay, if she's dividing that into one eighth size pieces, okay, then she can. Keep, change, and flip. And four goes into four once, and four goes into eight twice. So now, her family will get six pieces. Okay? Good. Okay, the deco, I'm guessing, has three-fifths of a yard of ribbon to tie on balloons for the festival. Each balloon will need three-tenths of a yard of ribbon. How many balloons could she tie with the ribbon? So, three-fifths is what she has. That's how much she has. She needs three-tenths for each one. Okay. So now I keep, I change, I flip, okay? And I say I love when we have the same number because we get to cross them out and put ones. Also on this one, five can go into 10. So five goes into five once, five goes into 10 twice. When I multiply straight across, I now get two over one, which means two balloons. There we go, okay? I want for you guys to do 15 and 16. You totally can. And then you guys are gonna go ahead and do the lesson check on the back. And we're gonna go down to do spiral review together, okay? Jeremy had three quarters of a submarine sandwich and gave his friend a third of it. What fraction of the sandwich did the friend receive? Well, he had three quarters of a sub. He gave his friend a third of it, so. Three quarters. Minus one third. Okay, so now in order to subtract fractions, they have to have a common denominator. So 
the smallest number that four and three both go into is going to be 12. That should be your denominator now all the way across. Okay. So now four times what is 12? Well, four times three. So now, whatever you do to the bottom, you have to do to the top. Three times three is nine. Okay. Now we multiplied the three by four, which means we need to multiply the top by four. One times four, four. Now nine minus four, five twelves. You got five twelves of a sub. Okay? There you go. All right. Ebony walked at a rate of three and a half miles per hour for one and a third hours. How far did she walk? Okay. So three and a half miles in one hour. Okay, so we need to divide that by one and a third hours. Nope, which way is doing that wrong, guys? Okay, give me a minute, I'll come back to number four. Okay, Penny uses three quarters of a yard of fabric for each pillow she makes. How many pillows can she make using six yards of fabric? Now we do have six divided by three quarters. So we're going to have, we're going to keep, change, and flip. Okay. So now three goes into three once, three goes into six twice. Two times four, eight over one. So she can make eight pillows. Okay. All right, during track practice, Chris ran two and a half laps in 81 seconds. What is the average time per lap? So we have my goodness. Okay. So we have to take those 81 seconds and divide it by 2.5, okay? All right, so can't have a decimal on the outside. Can't have a decimal on the outside. So gotta move it, okay? We gotta put a zero there, okay? Okay, so now 25 is not going to go into eight. It will go into 81 three times, giving me 75, six left over, okay? Six is less than 25, I can bring down my zero, okay? 25 into 60 is gonna go twice, like two quarters will go into 50 cents. Get 10 left over, okay? Now, 10 is less than 25, I can bring down another zero, and 25 is going to go into 100 four times, just like four quarters go into a dollar. Okay, so 3.24 seconds per lap. All right, guys. That was 2.7. Come on back for 